Today we're going to be making some really cool water vector designs that are going to be vectorized. I'm going to take you on a journey from making the watercolors on paper to vectorizing them in Adobe Illustrator and finally overlaying those vectors on your typography and logo designs. That's coming right up here at Satori Graphics. What is up people, welcome back to Tutorial Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. Excuse my voice today because it's a bit croaky due to me having a cold, so I apologize in advance for that. Before we kick off today's tutorial on making watercolor vector designs in Adobe Illustrator, I want to draw you guys' attention to my digital downloads page on my website. I've just uploaded some really cool vector brushes for you to download at a very, very low price. There's 61 brush vectors in total, so give them a download and grab yourself some really cool brush vector designs to use in your graphic designs. Now, how to vectorize watercolors for logo and typography designs in Adobe Illustrator. So the first stage in today's watercolor vector tutorial in Illustrator is pretty straightforward. Grab some paint, some water, a brush and some paper. You can experiment with different amounts of water and paint and see what colors blend well together. The trick is to get some good solid brush strokes and gradients down on paper. I rushed this stage a bit so I'm simply showing you guys how to make watercolor vectors and typography. But you should take your time and make sure you have some interesting and beautiful watercolor samples. The next step in today's watercolor vector tutorial is to take some high quality images with a decent camera. I would advise using a flash on your pictures because the paper needs to be as wide as possible around the watercolor design. As you can see I haven't paid close attention to making sure the paper is crisp and white all around, but we can fix that in Photoshop. So open up your designs in Photoshop and play around with things such as exposure, brightness and also hue and saturation. The idea is to get the watercolor popping off your paper with white surrounding it. Once you've edited your watercolor images, save them as JPEGs and then open them up in Illustrator. Because we're turning the watercolor designs into vectors, you'll want to downsize the image so your computer doesn't end up working super slow. This next step will put your machine through some serious exercise that's for sure. Open up the image trace window in Illustrator and with the watercolor selected choose color and then choose full tone. I like to use the ignore white option which will make sure that any white on your image is not going to be vectorized and then click preview. I've sped up things for the purposes of today's tutorial because it might take a while for this to process. As you can see my watercolor image is now made up of lots of different individual vector shapes. Once you're happy go up to object, image trace and expand. Again this may take a while to process but once it's finished, you've created some watercolor vectors in Illustrator. You'll probably want to ungroup everything and then delete unwanted areas. If you are better than me at taking the initial images of the watercolors, you will have an easier job on your hands. But delete aspects of the images that you don't want, only leaving the watercolor vector. So once you have your watercolor vector sample, you will need to locate the Pathfinder window, which is here in the toolbar, or you can find it at the top drop down menu. Merge the layers together of your watercolor vectors like so, which as before, it might take a long time to complete. You can then bring it over to your typography or your logo designs. But 
but make sure your typography or logo is united in the Pathfinder window and that it's been brought to the front of all layers. Once you've done that, with the typography selected, go up to Object and Compound Path, and then Make. Finally, select both typography and the watercolour vectors, and create a clipping mask like so. And there you have it, some watercolour vector typography as a vector design illustrator. So there was my tutorial on how to vectorize watercolors in Adobe Illustrator to use over the top of typography and logos. Let me know what you guys thought of this tutorial in the comment section below and drop a like on your way out. Remember to subscribe for a weekly graphic design content just like today's video and share my content on social media so other people get to see it too. Until next time, design your future today. Peace.